Welcome back to Anthony's Wig Spot Forever. So today I have an exciting one. This one is Raquel Welch, Editor's Pick Elite, and my favorite blonde ever, RL613 SS, which is Shaded Platinum. Stay tuned. So I wanted to review Editor's Pick for like the longest time. Uh, unfortunately, Editor's Pick does not offer this shade of platinum color, which is RL613 SS, on their regular wefted versions. Uh, this is offered in quite a few cap constructions. Uh, it's offered in a petite cap, a large cap, an average cap, and then this elite cap. Um, but unfortunately, none of those caps uh, have the shade of platinum color. Uh, only the Elite cap offers this color, which is a big mistake in my opinion because this is a popular color. Contrary to belief, there's a lot of people that watch my channel and I know other people's channels that wear this color and enjoy it. So it is a warm platinum blonde with dark roots. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I will show this wig in outdoor lighting. But I gotta tell you, this is a style that I really did not feel was gonna flatter me whatsoever at all. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I stayed away from it. Um, but then I started getting into uh, shorter bobs with curls, uh, such as January by John Renault in Laguna Blonde, um, Emma by Envy. And so I said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try this one out. I knew that the Elite Cap was a risk only because, first of all, these Elite Caps are not cheap. I picked this up on Wix.com with my own funds. Uh, they were running a 30% off sale, and it was during the week. I happened to see that, so I picked this up. And I'm not disappointed. Uh, it was a risk because I have an average large circumference. And if you know anything about uh, Raquel Welch elite caps or hand tie caps, uh, they tend to run a little bit smaller than their counterparts, which are their wefted caps. So I was kind of like wondering if I'd be able to fit into this or not. Um, but it does fit. I did have to cut out the Velcro adjusters in the back and um, I wet it and I let it sit on just my regular wig block for overnight. And it kind of opened up the cap a little bit enough for me to wear it and wear it comfortably. So I do appreciate that and this does fit and I do love this style. It is definitely a keeper and definitely one that I will repurchase again and again. I really like it and I just think it's beautiful. So let me do a complete 360. Awesome movement on this fully hand tied cap. All those beautiful curls. So Editor's Pick Elite has a 100% hand tied lace front. And the one thing I'm going to say about this lace front, and I'm just going to tell you this, is it does have a tendency to pick up a lot of your makeup off of your face. So if you wear heavy foundation or heavy concealer or anything that's up there, uh, it's your hairline you're definitely going to need to clean the lace front a lot more often on this style. This is only the third time I'm wearing it, and I've noticed it's really taken the sh tone of my makeup, and it's picked up a lot of the makeup from the other times that I've worn it. So keep that in mind. Um, there's several different uh, Raquel Welch wigs, unfortunately, that pick up the makeup. Uh, Simmer is, is one of them that picks up the makeup, and uh, you really have to be vigilant about cleaning that off at when you're done wearing it, as well as detangling it, just to make sure that when you put it on next time, it's that completely sheer uh, look. And I did take a pinking shears to this lace front. So it is scalloped. And it does, of course, have a full 100% hand-tied monofilament top, and the rest of the cap is hand-tied. And I it's partially hand-tied because it does have some wefts in the back, which I believe adds to the cap structure, which I'm going to show you right now. So on Editor's Pick Elite here, we do have that um, fully hand-tied lace front, which I only scalloped with my pinking shears, just a little bit of the lace. I didn't feel to d need to do it all. It does extend back into the ear tabs, and the ear tabs have a great piece of metal in them, so that stays flush against the temples of your head. And you do have a full monofilament top here, so you can park this anywhere you want. And the ear tabs are very soft material. 
And the rest of the cap is hand tied, except for, you know, it is hand tied, but we do have these wefts back here, which I just believe adds structure to the wig. Um, there's not a lot of stretch really in those wefts, so you're not going to find stretch. The most place you're going to find stretch is here. So you have this, and that there's quite a bit of stretch there. And it does have an extended nape. I, it does have Velcro adjusters, like I said at the beginning of the video. I cut them out and I wet the whole inside of this cap down and I sat it on a wig block overnight and just kind of pinned it in and let it stretch a little bit for me because it was a little bit tight. Um, there is pieces of metal. There's a piece of metal here and a piece of metal here at the nape that just were, they really were digging into me and it was just putting a lot of pressure on my nape area. So it can be tight. So if you, I'm just going to say, if you have an average large circumference, definitely do not get this elite cap. Um, go for either the average, if you're able to wear Raquel Welch average wefted caps, or if you really need to, definitely go for the large. Um, I bought this, so it's mine. I own it and I'm stuck with it, but you don't have to be. You have... You know, if you have larger measurements and you don't think you're going to be able to fit into this after what I told you, don't buy it because it'll be tight. I'm just telling you, if you don't have experience with um, making them work, you know, if they're just a bit too tight, um, don't buy it. So once you get um, Editor's Pick Elite on here, she's really easy. Um, I would only run my fingers through this. I mean, if you're going to comb through this, only use a wide tooth comb. Uh, don't brush this. You will definitely destroy um, this beachy wave curl pattern, which I'm not even really sure I would call this um, beachy waves. Um, it's a little bit more defined to me. Um, of course, curl pattern is going to appear differently on any wig that's the same style. So if you see other people review editor's pick and their curl pattern looks different, that's because they all just vary. They just vary. But at the end of the day, what I do recommend you do is take your wide tooth comb, and I always recommend John Renault HD Smooth Detangler. I would spray that just on the ends of the wig, especially at the nape area, and detangle this because I will tell you that I wore this for about an hour. Um, when it first came in and it tangled up in the back and it didn't really take long and I wasn't wearing any high collars or anything that was rubbing up against it. It just, that's the nature of this, this type of fiber. So you're going to have to be vigilant about taking the tangles out at the end of the day. But other than that, she is really easy. And with this hand tied cap, you're not going to be worried about anybody seeing any wefts if the wind blows. It's very natural weird. looking wig. And I really like the bounciness of this. This has a lot of bounce to it. You can sort of toss all your hair back and forth and it just sort of bounces. And I really like that. This is really, really pretty. Definitely a keeper. I am not disappointed at all that I got this. Other than those little accommodations I had to make on the cap to make it fit me a little bit better. Um, you know, I, I'm really not disappointed. I would buy it again for me. I like it a lot. Um, it's pretty. I've gotten several compliments on it. Um, definitely recommend this if you like curly bobs. I don't think you'll be disappointed in it at all. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you found any of this information helpful, like this video. And I will see you next time on Anthony's Wig Spot Forever.